this video, we're going to talk about two brand new features that are designed to help improve the design and development process. First, let's start with annotations. Annotations are a fantastic tool for helping communicate design intent or functionality that isn't easily expressible in static images. We've also added another enhancement that really levels up our annotation capabilities. Categories can help you on two different fronts. First, they're going to give you the ability to be able to group different features together so that you can understand what it is you're trying to build and what you're trying to communicate to your developers. So for instance, I have my accessibility ones here, as well as things like interactions and development. And then as my developers are working on it, they actually have the ability to filter out by different categories and work on them one at a time. Next, we've made annotations a little bit more scalable. So we have the ability to zoom in and out these will scale, and as you hover over them, they're going to increase in size so for easy readability. We've also given you the ability to use our Quick Actions menu to be able to turn annotations on and off so it doesn't interrupt your workflow. Annotations are really gonna be a great way to communicate with your developers. Next, let's talk about the eyedropper. You may remember late last year, we introduced a new capability in our eyedropper that gives you the ability to hover over, see colors and values right from the canvas without having to go into the color picker. We've now added that same capability to dev mode. In dev mode, you now have an eyedropper tool right available in your toolbar, or you can access it with the same commands that you do in design mode. So if I hover over here, not only will I see the same information about color values or my hex codes or many of my variables, I also can see things like code syntaxes, which I can then copy with the click of a button. This is really gonna help improve collaboration between designers and developers to make sure that everybody's working off the same page. If you want to learn more about these features, head over to figma.com slash devmap. Thanks for watching.